This is Ninny from Ninny's Napkins, and I am here to show you a brand new method of decoupage. At least it's new to me, and this is going to be a complete and total game changer. Uh, I'm about to blow your mind, I think. So, a customer actually talked uh, told me about this recently. Um, as you know, when you're doing decoupage, you can't really decoupage onto a black background. Yeah, there are ways around it, but in general, we're going to put a white background behind our decoupage. Why? Well, you can see here, if I was to just apply this napkin onto a dark background, you're going to lose the brightness, you know, and it's going to get even worse once I glued this down. Uh, but you can already just see here that the, the brightness of the napkin is going to be lost. Well, I am here today to tell you that that is no longer a problem. Uh, and this new method of decoupage, I think, is going to solve some other problems as well. So, as I said, I can't take credit for this. It was a, a customer, a local customer, who told me about this. Uh, thank you, Cheryl. And, uh, yeah. So let's get started. So what you're going to need is a silicone non-stick baking mat. Uh, I'll admit these are a little bit difficult to find right now, at least in my area. I went to many, many stores to try and find one and eventually ended up having to order one on Amazon. Uh, this one is really big. I could easily cut it in half. Uh, it's got It's a baking mat, so it's got some designs on the other side. Uh, I'm going to use the back of it. Uh, so what we want to do, for this you absolutely have to have some polyvine varnish. Uh, in most cases the decorator's varnish is going to be perfectly fine for this. Today I'm using a gloss finish, uh, but you can use any of the decorator's varnish. Really you could use any of the polyvine, uh, but with the decorator's varnish being the lowest priced, um, that's the one that I'm going to use. But if you already, if you have the wood varnish around, or the extreme, or even the wax finish, that will work perfectly fine as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint a layer of the polyvine onto this baking sheet. And I'm going to do it big enough that my napkin will lay on it. And it's okay that I'm going to get some extra on here no problem at all. Now I have one of these uh, thin plastic sheets that we normally use for the water method and we are going to do a little bit of the water method here because I am going to spritz this napkin. I've laid it uh, face side down. I'm going to spritz the napkin a little bit with water just like we would for the water method and I'm still going to pull out uh, the, the bunching, just pull that out a little bit, and then that's about where the water method uh, resemblance ends. We're going, oops. Anyways, now what I'm going to do, you see it's starting to pool a bit. That's okay, that's because of the non-stick mat. So I'm just going to lay this right down, right into the polyvine. Uh, and I'm going to smooth it all out, just like I normally would, and I'm going to lift this sheet off. Usually it comes off quite easily, and then I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to wash it very soon because there is some polyvine on there. Now this needs to dry. Um, it doesn't take too long to dry, but I'm going to use the heat tool. And I'm going to dry it out, and then uh, and then I will be back to show you the next steps. So I don't know if this is entirely dry, but I just wanted to take a moment to show you that as I'm drying it, this is actually already lifting off. Um, so you can see how easily it comes off. Maybe it is totally dry. It's hard to tell because there's still a bit of pooling here. But uh, anyway, so now the napkin, look at that, just peels right off no issues and now it's almost it's actually very similar to a very thin vellum um, 
it's really remarkable. It's quite uh, quite durable now, it's quite flexible. So now, this is what where I what I meant by I think it's going to solve a couple of problems because now the napkin is going to be much easier to work with. Uh, it's not nearly as delicate. It's been uh, reinforced by the polyvine, which you're going to already put onto it anyways, um, just at a different stage. That part was still a little bit wet there, but uh, yeah, it's very smooth. So now, how does this help us to decoupage onto a black surface? Of course, we're not there yet because you can see it's still very dark and behind, even more so maybe now because the napkin's gone a little bit transparent. Um, I'm just going to set my silicone mat aside. And so what you can do now is you can actually paint the back of it. And you may have seen um, Creative Katie Karen Burchell do this with rice paper. You can paint the back of a rice paper white uh, so that you can put it over your uh, over a colored background and, and, and it makes it more vibrant and it hides whatever else is in the background. If you're watching her do a you know a mixed media uh, art journal page so I've just got a bit of, uh, I don't know if I have a nicer brush. So I just want these pumpkins to really stand out. I've got some white uh, Stamperia Allegro paint here. And I'm just, I think this is the back. Yeah, it's the back. And I'm just going to paint the back of this napkin. Now if you tried this on a napkin, just tried painting it um, without the polyvine, without what we've just done, the paint would bleed through. And if you've ever done reverse decoupage, uh, and you know maybe the first time you ever did that, so you reverse decoupage as if you had say a clear plate. Uh, and you actually put your napkin on the back of the plate so the image shows through so that you can still use the plate as a plate and you don't have to worry about the decoupage being on the side that you're putting your food on. Um, and sometimes when people are first starting out, they'll put the napkin on the, black, on the back of the plate and then they try and paint white behind it and it actually bleeds right through the napkin. And that's because they haven't sealed it well enough. Dry. So now you can already kind of see the difference and that looks really cool already just with the, everything around the pumpkins being so transparent. And so there, big difference. So now I think what I'm going to do uh, I'm still using the decorator's varnish, but because this is a coaster, normally I would use our heavy-duty wood varnish, but uh, I don't have it with me right now. 
Uh, and again, just for demonstration purposes and just for gluing this down, this the decorator's varnish is fine. I'll end up going over with uh, three coats of the heavy duty wood varnish after. Uh, and if you don't know, that helps, uh, it, the wood varnish, the poly, polyvine wood varnish is, uh, has a be bit better of a heat resistance. So we use it for our coasters and for trivets, uh, you know, to put a hot, hot pot or pan on. It works really well for that. So I'm just going to apply a nice coat here. Don't have to be too careful about it because this napkin is no longer delicate. And I'm going to place it down and then afterwards I'll sand off the edges just like I normally would. There, now I'm going to, I'm just going to use my sleeve actually to smooth it out. But if you've ever done the water method before decoupage, you'll see instantly that this is just uh, so much easier. <laughs> I love the water method. I'm a big advocate of the water method of decoupage. And this is uh, very different. I'm just smoothing that out, getting all the wrinkles out, all the bubbles out. Now the other thing that I could have done, uh, because the napkin was so much more durable, uh, is I could have just cut around the pumpkins, you know, fussy cut them out and put them down. Um, Yeah, but you can see the, I don't know if you can tell here, there's a little bit of uh, napkin image here. You can probably barely see it uh, where I didn't paint white behind. And yeah, you can hardly see it on the black background. So there, got a little bubble under there. I think actually, I wonder if I can still peel this up. No, I'm not going to peel it up again. Um, I think I would use more of this as my more polyvine as the base coat next time. Uh, so now I'm just gonna sand off the edges as I normally would. If you like this video, we'd really appreciate it if you give us a like, a comment, Shares are great. Share the video with your all your decoupage buddies. Uh, share it in your decoupage groups, your Facebook groups. Um, you want to spread the word that we can now decoupage with napkins on a black background. Look at that. Black background, any colored background, anything. And you know, maybe some of your friends have tried decoupage before and they found it too tricky. Uh, now you can show them that we have an easier way of doing it. There. Let's put another coat over there. Let us know in the comments uh, what you think. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope we've given you an aha moment and that we've blown your mind today. <laughs>